Hello and welcome. My god, it's a loud game. Let me turn that down. Oh my lord. Maybe this is, yeah. Do it right here. Okay. So this is The Invincible. And also, the next game we are playing in Steam's Next Fest. Um, I literally know nothing about this. I probably should have looked something up, but better to go blind and get surprised. So let's get started. New game. Oh. The fragment you'll be you'll play is not the beginning but takes place later in the game. The main protagonists have already been through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the entire game by explaining too much. On the next page, we provided just a brief introduction to the scene that is taking place. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your re uh, reception of earlier parts of the game. Unavoidable spoilers alert. Second, remember that the current state of the game is not a final product. We're still working very hard to improve its quality and performance. And now, let's continue. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the evacuation area and heads towards the ravine, following their convoy. She's getting closer, so needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from abroad, a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place, Regis 3. Plan your route to the convoy. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. Joe Cole, yes, then. Main path or side... Path. Oh, how do I... Take the path leading to the convoy? A little precaution can't hurt. Oh. All right. I'll try to get there via the side path. Okay. Go to the destination of the convoy. Dispatch from the base. Ooh. Said marker. Oh, we can I jump. Oh, cannot. Oh, please let me drive this. Hmm. Do I do controller or do I mouse with this? Ugh. Let me um, keep it close by. Let's just go with the mouse for now. You know. Hey, hold up. Yes. Can I look around this cabinet? Cabin? Emmett, 2001. That's cool. Ooh. A little chappy. I'm nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. That's typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in the way. Radiation meter. 
Radiation level has increased. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Just now be careful of radiation and of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation, after all. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Let me just check something really quick. Uh, graphics, VSync, do. Let's put it to 120. Do performance. Yeah, let's try that. Flashlight. Can I jump? No. Stuck. Oh, what's this? Super pretty, uh. I'll give it that. Guess we will go in this um, tunnel here. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all deal with. Hang on, someone's here. Uh, what do you mean, someone's here? What? Corpse. Ew, what the? They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, it's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. What are we drinking? Glad you asked. This is rum with coconut water, a smidge of lime, and it is refreshing. And this guy looks like ripped in half. I can't tell if he's buried or just ripped in half. Sure, if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Big hole. Um, we look around first, or we just head right in. Another hole. Let me up. Let me up. Okay. Quarter cover. This one. I'm getting into the antimatter recorder. 
What am I supposed to do? Oh. something out of a well giant hole interesting i don't recognize that place just in case i've noted down the coordinates they're getting close to where i am now they're here sending the probe Tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. going on one man's trying to draw the attention of the others to I have no idea what's beyond the frame one of them is staring with concern at an instrument some sort of meter <sighs> the photo is such poor quality I can clearly see the fear in his face measurements are also strange the electromagnetic field is in the upper range circles instead of getting you off this planet is there anything actually helpful in those photos don't you want to know what happened sir i do if my crew was safe and sound i gladly investigated myself explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge but also bring us honor and glory not to mention the exposure of the alliance's incompetence at the moment though i have other priorities doctor Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asma. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind if not for our link. If you help me keep it together, sir. Yeah, I'd be scared too. Who wants to go in a dark tunnel? One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? Uh, the machine's objective has changed. Again. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Hmm. Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrocator. The antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly Whoa. at the crew. Arm torn off. Shooting them. Whoa. Oh. 
now we know how he uh, split in half. It's horrifying what an antimatter being does to the human body. Sorry, you have to see this young man. Media Street doesn't spare you. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Damn. Hiding from it made no Boom. difference. <laughs> this guy. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Ready to get blasted. Uh oh. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. Ooh. It killed him. The machine just killed him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? Jesus. Oh, my God. That's me. Oh my god. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. Um, I mean, no, I don't want to. But Jesus, took a picture. Picture me. Oh my God. Oh my God! Screw this. Ah. Uh. I don't like this. It's an Arcta coming at me. Oh, carrying something. Getting dizzy. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, yes. Need to rest. No, no, I'm better now. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles using the same path. Hi. Come. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip.
Mm, oh, look at this. This is a grabby thing. Give me a grabby tool. Give it! I think that crew took some soil samples. There's his chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Did you more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. <sighs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Okay. Sure. Sure. No, was... Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal, then I'll use a detector. Right. What about this guy? What does it say? Detector R. Here we go. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, all dead, a relic. Second... These bushes all grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. But we can't talk about life here. For me, it's a virus. A parasite on this planet. I would never classify viruses as living organisms. There are theories that we humans have a common ancestor with parasites, an RNA particle. That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls life in order to activate. Yeah, uh, there isn't really any evidence of it, is there? Correct. It truly is a phenomenon. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. Oh. Are we just gonna faint? What the hell? Where am I? Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh! Oh, knocked it up, knocked him out of his loop. Can I get up? The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. I must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. First of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. I think it's gonna take over the robot because it's metal. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. 
Holy shit. Whoa. Shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit, she can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't <laughs> rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. I guess we go towards this thing. What? Why turn me? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. We got some cool slides. Robot. Bam! You saw that? That was great. That me. Oh, is that it? Hmm. What's this? For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording device. The first Andalant told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Actually, it's right in front of me. Those plants taking over the scrap metal. Emmet. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? 
So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla gear, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day base. This is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge, black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scout came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies. Capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, Field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Please continue. I have nothing more. I was counting on your assessment now. What can I say? We know that prolonged exposure to electromagnetic fields may have negative effects on human health. We're talking weeks. Maybe months. Those values were extreme. Please take that into account. In such cases, we should talk about severe brain dysfunctions. How severe? The vital organs stop working. So, death with no apparent cause of death. Oh, goodness. That's right. This could explain what happened to our dear Merit. And to the convoy's crew. Or some of them, at least. Damn. It could also explain Kovel and Krauter's stupor. How? Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. In extreme cases, complete erasure of memories. Irreversible. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Does such a person learn the world anew? I can't 
can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember everything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them have gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Find the containers with the flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Oh, here we go. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Ew, what the? It's too awkward to squeeze in. vehicle is just stuffed with bushes but can you see past them not quite yet yeah i see something now i can see broken containers no sign of the flies just plenty of bushes. You have some theories, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? New information changes perspective, Astrogator. But I think it's better to withhold any further classification until we learn more about genesis of these creatures. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source and so on and so forth well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of with all the skepticism that comes with it believe it or not kind of liking this I love a good story can I not, can I not go forward oh there we go Oh, it's a forest field. Uh, down here. Go in there. It's gonna be it. Double check around here. All right. The 
force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. <sighs> From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Oh, what happened to this guy? Squished. Oh, it's getting dark. I don't like this. Probe. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. It's registered oh. to be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little Toby. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. Get under the force field. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. This transporter is actually running. It doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. But first, the Energobots. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All good and clear as a sky is blue just waiting for things to go sideways turn off the force field and take the transporter all right let's go yes it's around here somewhere hi there we go A new helmet? I don't know. The field is no longer a problem. Oof. Disabled. Yuck. Huh. Toes. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Uh, just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead.
get me the hell out of here. Why did I go on this planet by myself? I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. What? Did I do something? There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm blinking. Ah, all good. So cool. I hope. Robe. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go. Yasna, what are you wondering about? What if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. <laughs> And you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be so sure? We were clueless just a moment ago. We've only just begun to understand what's going on. But you already know how to handle it. Yasna, I promise you, we'll analyze everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. God. I mean, again, I don't know why I'm here by myself. It's scary as hell. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to look at. Ramp. Well, I just saw something. Here we go. We do okay. There you go. Whoa. Wow. I must admit. They like shred our bodies. What have you done? I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn bastards have been distracted. Have you seen them? What? Just look outside, doctor. Keep yourself. Oh my god. This is getting exciting. awesome i am super excited for that game that is the invincible i hope you liked it because i sure as hell did um i don't know what i'm gonna play next demo wise in the next fest but uh stay tuned and i'll see you real soon goodbye